Hey Scorpio, this is EJ from Tarot to Tarot. I hope everybody is having a good week. I hope you're having a good start to the month of March. Scorpio, this is going to be your Dig Deeper Love reading for the month of March 2019. One more shuffle and we will get started if I can keep on to the cards here. So this is a nine card spread. We do three for recent past, three for current energy, and three for future energy, one for overall energy, and three for guidance from the universe, plus an oracle card for guidance and encouragement. All right, let's cut these up. Let's see what we got going on here for Scorpio for the month of March. Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit guides. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, and a reminder, I read my cards straight up. I don't do reverses. So the Sun card, Six of Coins, Five of Wands, hmm. Current Energy, Seven of Cups, the Empress, and the Queen of Wands, <clears throat> the Empress being your centerpiece. And for Future Energy, the communication card, Ace of Swords, Two of Coins, and Ten of Wands. How funny. In every every last card, <laughs> Scorpio is a fire card. <laughs> uh, which I got going on from underneath the bottom of the deck, Scorpio. The Magician. All right. So let's see what we got going on here. I don't know what, why this is striking me is funny but something funny is going on so scorpio from your recent past and this will be uh probably energy that you're bringing in from february Jan the end of january um the sun card so somewhere something happened that made you decide scorpio that you needed to stand up on your own individually in your truth and do the damn thing that's what the sun card means and in this reading it's coming back that you made a decision at some point, I'm going to say within the last six months or so, that regardless of whatever else you were doing, you're going to try to hang on and maintain on your own because you have just gone through too much trying to rely or depend on anyone to do anything for you. The Six of Coins next to that, um, you may have had some problems, some fi financial problems with your significant other uh, where they were spending a little bit too much and even though we're in March and <laughs> another week dog on near April you still carry a lot of people are still carrying Christmas energy if you celebrate Christmas whatever, whatever you're doing from Thanksgiving to the first of the year that is usually when most people at least in the northern hemisphere during the end of the year that's usually where we as Americans spend all of our money we buy gifts, we eat too much, we drink too much, we do everything all in that little three or two month period and just spend it all. And I get the sense that your partner just went buck wild, spent everything on her body, and this left you kind of feeling a little anxious. And I'm also getting back from spirit. This is something that has does not usually happen with your partner. So it may have given you a um, pause to take a step back and figure out what the hell is really going on. From there, it seems like, Scorpio, your energy just went here, there, and everywhere, trying to figure out what's going on. It seems like you got some personal, uh, professional things kind of creeping in on your personal life, work stuff, you bringing shit home, people asking you to do 50,000 things, and you still got this thing, I feel this, nagging you in the back of your head, like, what is, what, what are you doing <laughs> with your partner? You just trying to, like, what, dude, what are you doing? What, where? I get that energy. With the magician card, all of that said, there is some trickery afoot. Usually, if you hear me read, the energy that I'll get back is that, you know, this is a magician and you got the resources and, you know, pull something out of your ass because you, you can make it happen. With, uh, not this time. This time, I get just for you the overall sense of feeling like something is going on that you don't know anything about some trickery something just not quite right and you need a better understanding about what's going on with your partner as we get to the current energy with the seven of cups it seems like your partner may be trying to do too much 
even though this is cup energy, water energy, if you will. Um, you see that waterfall in the front. I'm kind of figuring that's you sliding down that waterfall. I, th th this is really, even though it, then you may be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer or another Scorpio, or they may have that energy somewhere in their sign, rising, their natal chart, wherever. But I'm really sensing that that's you in the red trying to fall down or climb up the waterfall, however you want to see it. And your partner has just done too much, trying to do too much. That's what we'll say. They're trying, your partner is really right now trying to do too much. And I get the sense, some of you, and this is not going to resonate with everybody, some of you may be trying to buy something in terms of property or personal stuff, a car, uh, a truck, a house, a trailer, a van, something. And it's, it's a nice little chunk of change, but you can't seem to pin your partner down on what needs to happen. With the Empress card being the centerpiece piece card, this is coming back to me that um, somebody is just losing their self-worth. And I'm gonna have to say, it's probably you, Scorpio, because you feel like you're doing all this stuff, but you're not getting any recognition for stuff. And it's kind of ironic because if, and if you're looking at me moving these cards around, your sun card is here, and then you got the Empress card here. And then if we go on a diagonal, here's the Ten of Wands. So I'm kind of getting the feeling that you're stressed out, Scorpio, um, even though you decided at some point here in the recent past to stand up in your truth, you just, it's kind of almost want to say, I don't want to say it, but I'm, I'm saying it, that you've lost respect on some level for your partner. And again, we're going back up here to this energy where they just did too much. I'm not getting the sense that this is third party energy. But I want to turn around and say your partner went and did something with the money and you found out about it and you lost your damn mind, Scorpio, and that's exactly what you did. Um, and this is where this fire energy is coming from because at the end of each little mini cycle, the recent past, the current, and the future, your passion and your energy is just red hot because you are really trying to understand what went wrong? Why would your partner do something without telling you? That's the biggest thing I'm hearing. Maybe it's something they didn't tell you. They spent up the oogabs of money, and now you, you're trying to purchase something. Like I said, I'm not clear on what it is, but it's a big ticket item. It ain't no ten dollar something from the dollar store, but this is a big item, and you're coming up short. That's exactly what the hell I hear. You're coming up short with the Queen of Wands. Um, this is something that just, you, you're not feeling this. You're not feeling this right now. And even though the Queen of Wands is supposed to be confident, sexy, and seductive and all of this, this is coming back as a lot of frustrated, pent-up energy. And if you look the car closely, I'm almost tempted to tell you, it's almost like some kind of energy has stepped in between you and your other. I don't know what kind of energy it is, like I said, I'm not necessarily getting any strong feedback about this being a third party situation or your partner cheating on you. However, they are doing things that you don't know about, which is why you've got this overall feeling of trickery and somebody up to some monkey shit and you don't know it. With your future energy, communication, which is true, we're in Mercury retrograde right now. So y'all are not communicating there is no you know little note well do you love me do you like me yes or no none of that no communicating there no fast no internet no phone text messages y'all are kind of in your separate place and as i go further into the story you initiated this you the one that shut down you told your partner whatever you had to say about whatever this is but it's still like I, i'm feeling this stunning something you've got some pent-up energy and this is another meaning for this card in this deck um and almost like you can't you, you just it's not going anywhere you can't and you're trying to figure out what's going on and you just you really just kind of just in it in the future the two of coins is telling me that there's going to be some wishy-washy unsure 
you weighing the pros and cons. And even though uh, the coins and pentacles are Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, this is you, Scorpio. And you may, some of you may have Earth signs in your, in your chart. And it's just coming back to me that y'all are just wish you were you weighing the pros and cons that's that's the meaning of this card you weighing the pros and cons is it worth it for me to continue doing this and try to figure out what this monkey is hiding from me what they're not telling me or should i just move on should i stay or should i go that's the energy um with that comes stress you start thinking about breaking up with somebody especially if you are in a live-in cohabitating relationship where you're not necessarily married, but you're living together. Sometimes living together can be more difficult to get out of than marriage. And simply because marriage, you've got some, some real clear guidelines on who gets kids, what's supposed to happen, the money, the house, the car. But when you're living with somebody, you know, a lot of times that's an emotional move. You just move because, you know, obviously you care and love the person, but you don't really check all the boxes. You don't really dot all the I's and cross all the T's. You kind of just move in together and throw it up in the air and whatever falls out, falls out, which is fine. But then when it comes time to separate, and this is where your head is now, Scorpio, you're thinking about separating you. And if you've been in this relationship and this, this has older energy to it in terms of it's longer than a year. So this is somebody you've been messing around with for a minute. Um, it's hard to pull out of those relationships like that. And again, if your overall energy is just feeling like something's afoot and, you know, somebody's doing some crazy shit, it does just this. It causes stress. And you just take on too much. You feel overwhelmed. You don't want to get up and go to work. I hear you. I feel you. Scorpio, take some time for yourself. Please take some time for yourself. Um, you really want to get back here. And it seems like from here, it's a long way to here. But you really need to think about getting back to here. And it may mean that you need to cut your ties um, and, and seek your independence again. And this time, not just in how you're handling things, but just totally across the board, get to you. And if the person that you're with is not adding any benefit to your life, if they're, you know, messing around with money and money, is one of the biggest things that breaks people up. People don't, I don't think, always realize that. But when you're in a relationship and somebody starts screwing around with the money, money that you had plans, like you're saying, your partner doing too much, you kind of losing some self-respect for this person. Um, and then this energy that's just kind of there in between the two of you, kind of snuck up on you. If it's time to, to take a step back, Scorpio, I'm suggesting maybe that's a good thing. Take a step back. It is, after all, Mercury retrograde. Time to review, reevaluate, reassess what's going on in your life. Write it down. You know, and if you're here with your partner where you're not really able to get some full turned up communication, you know, you may have to just stick your foot in it and say, look, damn it, we have a conversation. So you can get down to the bottom of it because at the end of the day, you're really not trying to feel all of this, especially if you're trying to accomplish some goals. You really are not trying to feel overwhelmed and stressed out about some bullshit because somebody is not being totally honest with you. I'm just saying. Let's see what the universe has for guidance for you, Scorpio. Let me shake these up real quick. Let me just say this because I feel this. This is not... A, term, a terminating energy that I feel. So just because the two of you may get to a point where you ready, really feel like you're ready to fall out, it doesn't mean that you won't come back together or that you can't come back together. And some relationships need a time out. You know, people change, situations, circumstances change, people change jobs, what they were doing when you met them, they may not be doing it anymore and it may just be shaking them up and have them doing something, but Whatever's going on with your partner, Scorpio, it is definitely worth your time and your effort to find out what it is, particularly where it is concerning your coin. So let's see what the universe has for advice. Queen of Swords. Yeah, two of Wands. 
Ace of Coins. So let's see what the universe is talking about for guidance. With this Queen of Swords here, um, until you get... <coughs> Until you get some clarity on what's going on with your relationship, both one or the both of you, you're just going to feel in, inadequate, like you're not capable of um, following through completely with the commitment. And despite what I just said about being able to get together or get back together if you do break up, right now, and I'm kind of relating this feeling in, inadequate with the Empress card. Um, it may be your partner, if your partner's an air sign. It could your partner can be any sign. But just looking at the energy on the board, if your partner has some air qualities in them, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, um, y'all are just frustrated. And both of you, yeah, one of the both of you, and I'm gonna say both of you, you're feeling in inadequate. Like, what the hell? I thought we had this on point. You don't have this on point. The universe is confirming for you. That, yeah, y'all are, are feeling inadequate because of what's going on here. But behind that, with the two of wands, it, it's telling you almost to start over. Go back to the drawing board. And this is, a, in my in my head, for this deck, um, this is about going back to the drawing board and starting over. And not necessarily scrapping your relationship and starting over, but going back to the drawing board and looking at what you have and what's going on now that i'm saying that and i put this card in my hand actually your partner it seems like and this is not going to resonate with everybody so you know eat the fish leave the bones your partner for those of this that this applies to is feeling like you are not paying them enough attention now that can go one or two ways you can go oh hell no you are whining about what or you can go, okay, well, maybe that's true because I've been working overtime or I got another job or I got the kids or whatever. However that's resonating with you is going to give you, universe is telling me, a good indicator of where the relationship is actually going. If you feel like your partner, male or female, however it goes, is whining because you're not spending enough time with them and you ain't feeling that, then you will know how to proceed. If your partner says this to you or you find this out and you have been working and you know it has been difficult to juggle go back to the drawing board either in either instance go back to the drawing board and look at if you're feeling like why are you whining if you've got that energy about your partner feeling like that you you're not paying them enough attention or not spending enough with that person and your natural knee-jerk reaction is are you kidding you're whining go back to the drawing board Think about what you what you really want to manifest in a relationship. Again, doesn't mean you have to end this one, but you may have to change up and come up with something different. If it's coming back that you really have been busy, maybe it's time to go back to the drawing board, figure out you know how you can restructure your day, your work, kids, however it flows for you, um, and come up with something new. Nothing new. Cause this popped up upside down and I, I don't use to say that but nothing new um any seeds that you try to plant if you try to do this with the way things are currently not gonna happen it's not gonna happen so if and i'm just gonna tell the truth put it out there if you got a co-worker that you've been eyeballing and you know you're thinking about all this stuff going on at home and like you know what <laughs> i'm out bye ain't gonna happen um and with two, three major arcana cards on the board, there are some life-changing things going on. So with your centerpiece card being the em empress, if it's you that's feeling like you're not being valued or if it's your partner that, because I'm saying the same thing over here, you know, about them not feeling valued and you having to go back to the drawing board, centerpiece card you're not having that you're not feeling that that love that self-love that self-worth and your partner i'm just kicking back they're not feeling it either until you deal with that issue until you get rid of this something is going on behind my back energy anything you try to start now it's not gonna do nothing but just die i'm just saying 
is that's that's a real part of life. People end up in relationships and they haven't completely broken up. This, this shit happens. It's just life, and you haven't completely broken up. And, and many of us try as we might to you know get through with one thing and then move on to the next. Life doesn't always work on our time frame. The universe does what the universe does. So, in saying that, until you can clear up whatever's going on with your partner. I wouldn't even think about. The universe is telling you, don't even think about planting no new seeds. Clear this up. Clear this up. If you try to do something and move forward, it's probably going to set you back with another person. Not necessarily this person, but if you try, there's a nugget here, Scorpio, that you need to learn from. Um, whatever reason your honey comes up with about the missing money or whatever's you know, not right in the relationship as it pertains to material possessions. Think about what you're doing, because every action has a reaction. And if your partner, even though they may be reacting to you in an immature manner, it doesn't mean they aren't right. Everybody's not, it, nobody's perfect, and everybody is not moving at the same pace. So definitely try, try and get some communication in there, even though ain't nobody trying to talk. Universe is telling you it ain't a bad thing to go back to the drawing board. It doesn't necessarily mean you need to break this relationship up. But maybe it's time to review what direction you're going in with this person. All right, let's see what the Oracle cards got for you, Scorpio, for the month of March. And your romantic relationship. This is for the month of March, spirit. For Scorpio and their romantic relationship. Body talk. <laughs> body talk. What's everybody's body saying to you? If you're trying to uncover some information, Scorpio, I'm watching people's body language. What's your body saying? And, and that just what I'm just saying to you. If something is going on in this relationship, you're going to find out. I guarantee you're going to find out. When you find out, what part of that are you playing? When you look at your par partner, when you're talking to them, what's their body language like? What's it telling you? You know, we had to get up just off the superficial and sometimes look below the surface. You know, if your partner is not eyeballing you while you're having this conversation, you know, looking you in your eye and having that conversation, think about the body talk. What is your body talk saying? Just saying. What What is it saying? You got your hand up. You got your back turned. You rolling your eyes. Or are you listening? Even as angry as we can get dealing with our romantic relationships, it's still very important for us to listen. And that means, you know, sometimes you just have to put the attitude and the funkiness aside and just hear your partner out and see if what they're saying resonates with you, if there's a grain of truth in it, if it's all a lie. But pay attention to what your body is saying to people. And when you get down to the meat and potatoes of this over here, pay attention to what your body, your partner's body talk is saying to you. I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a good rest of the week, a great weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye, y'all.